All right, joining me once again here on The Matthew Filipovich Show is my good friend, Dinik the Microphone Misfit. Dinik is a Chicago-based hip-hop artist and MC. You can find his music at themicrophonemisfits.bandcamp.com. Dinik, thank you so much for being on the show again, my friend. Thank you for having me, man. All right, so Dinik, though you live in Chicago, Illinois now, you were actually born and raised in Flint, Michigan, where the deadly and criminal water poisoning occurred and continues to occur. Uh, let's begin. What are your thoughts on what the hell is happening in Flint? Man, my my thoughts is it's genocide. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, there's no other way to there's no other way to describe it. It's genocide there you know and it's for the purpose of land they're trying to get that land back yeah As, so like like who, who who's trying to get the land the like who do you is there someone specific you think you're going at that that's going after it or j just because it's so close to what lake huron and stuff like that or what, what are your thoughts um, developers um you know black suffering is always a profit for America. Yeah. And like, let's just be clear on that. And, um, and poor whites are always sacrificial lamb for black suffering, which is always a uh, profit for profit for, um, you know, America. And what they're trying to do, like Flint, going into a little bit of the history of Flint, Flint is the home of General Motors, or what we call Generous Motors, <laughs> um, they uh, sort of first World War II tanks were uh, done, were made and manufactured. That's where Flint is where the first uh, police foot patrol uh, experiment happened. Um, Flint is a very significant piece in Americana, and um, and and in particularly American industrial capitalism. Um, since GM left. The city became a cancer and started to eat itself, and developers really want that land. Um, you know, this is all a financial hustle to get those people out of there. Like, the people are fleeing, killing themselves fast enough. They got to do it, you know. So, they, you know, it's genocide, man. I mean, like, in 2013, the um, federal building in Flint uh, got repiped. Um, the only place in Flint that got repiped, the federal building got repiped, um, because they knew what they were about to do. Also, and I believe in 2013, um, the governor uh, put in a bill and changed the rules for recall. So you can't recall uh, a governor official uh, in Michigan. So he can't be, at least uh, legally, he can't be recalled and brought up on criminal charges. For me, like where I come from, that's called intent. You know, this is always a plan. And then, you know, this dude holds big stock, and not just him, a lot of those government officials hold big stock in the water companies. Like all kinds of my people back home, because I still got friends and family out there. My people back home have been talking about um, <clears throat> All different types of water brands and water companies. People are starting water companies like bottle water companies just to, um, just to uh, you know, this has been a big money grab for them. Rick, Snyder's, just... Rick Snyder's chief of staff uh, this, uh, his, is actually the chief of staff's spouse is the spokesperson for Nestle Water. Literally, yes. the, guy's, the, the guy's chief of staff is, is like one degree of the devil away from this type of thing here like like how you know and and that goes and and that goes to another point like a lot of people are calling for um for uh schneid to uh be uh, arrested yeah um and i'm all for that but i think what needs to happen is there needs to be a rico act there needs to be a rico law for um all of this like everybody needs to go to jail like everybody just like because you asked a very important question. You said, who is the they? The, the they is the system. Yeah. There is no, there is no um, like, massively uh, known bad guy. There's it, no it Mr. Never, Birds it, here, right? Like, you know, laughing maniacally. 
Right, right. There's no, there's nobody twisting his whiskers. Doing, I mean, there's a couple of them doing that, but it ain't. It's, there's no Hitler. Everybody, everybody, you know, when you say they, colloquially, a lot of people, and I ain't talking about like just, I ain't talking about white folks or anything like that. It's, it's the system. It's that, it's that white supremacist system of that colonial system that they're trying to like use this same old model of black suffering to fund and fuel profits for the country. And I mean, you're talking about the same city a couple of years ago that laid off the fire department. And then the fire department allegedly, workers in the fire department allegedly were suspected of, you know, committing arsons in the city of Flint, but nobody could investigate because you laid them off. You know, this is, this is the type of weirdo madness and weirdo shit that happens in Flint on a on a government and fiscal level, you know. So, like, to me, I think what needs to happen is it needs to be a RICO Act. The same way they, they stomp out, they use RICO Acts to stomp out mobs and crime syndicates to make sure that there's not a criminal system mm -hmm. that goes against the machine of... of standard american capitalism there needs to be a rico uh act into place that calls these people into um into account not just snyder but everybody all the accountants all the people who are gaining all these water companies all these uh developers has got their eyes on flint you know all the people that stands to make a big buck and are in bed with with these politicians and people handling this uh, water crisis thing, it needs to be, they need to be addressing all of them need to go to jail. And, and the immediate problem is you got to fix them pipes or you got to give them people reparations, yeah. you know, and not just the, not just the people suffering, but their kids deserve reparations. They like to, at least to the level of grandkids. Like, they deserve some because, like, the lead in the water is so crazy. Like, they're going to be feeling that pain from generations to come. You just messed up people's DNA. So, yeah, man, they need they need our reparations, in my, in my humble fact. 